with us here today, we have the chairman of this whole academy. That is the chairman, Reverend Johan Kim, and he's going to come out and give us his remarks. Let us put our hands together for the chairman of IOF Weekend Academy. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, uh, nice to meet with all of you uh, once again. Uh, my name is uh, Johan Kim, and uh, currently uh, in charge of this uh, mindset uh, education. Uh, all these uh, uh, free academy uh, is uh, currently running uh, together with uh, Ministry of uh, Youth, and uh, especially uh, last uh, graduation, when we uh, graduated the close to 500 uh, youth for this uh, academy, IYF Academy, and uh, even some of them, uh, they were able to receive the best of students and the awards uh, from the cabinet secretary as well. And so you never know, right? Uh, next uh, graduation, and those who are seated right now, uh, you may be the one uh, who, who may be receiving uh, CSS award. And uh, you never know, also a couple of uh, uh, seasons uh, later, we may also uh, have presidential award as well. Would you like to receive the presidential award? Would you like to receive my award or presidential award? Hey, wait, wait. <coughs> yes. Anyways, uh, uh, I uh, hope and uh, I wish uh, for the best uh, for all of you. Uh, this is uh, free training and academy where you can take this uh, opportunity. Use it for your own benefit. It's there. It's not that opportunity is not there. It is there. You use it. But now, uh, although it is there, there are those people who take it granted. You understand, right? But you use it well. And we teach many different subjects, over 17 different subjects. Uh, so I hope uh, you take good use and opportunity out of this. And also in the future, uh, we are trying to also work with uh, many corporations and companies uh, so that uh, we can also help you uh, get jobs as well in the future. Is that good? Yes, yeah, so, so uh, take uh, good use out of this uh, Mahanaim uh, IYF uh, uh, Weekend Academy. And especially uh, during the day, uh, we have Mahanaim College under Tibet. We are using it as a college. But over the weekend, nobody is there, right? So the board members have gathered together and we discussed. Instead of just leaving it empty room over there, we can give opportunities uh, for our youth uh, so that they can learn. Especially in IUIF, yes, of course, academic skills, training is also very important. However, although you may have a good academic and high IQ, uh, which is of intellectual quotient, but now if you do not have the right and the strong and the good mindset, then you're not going anywhere. Is that true? Yes, academic is very important. One sad thing that happens in Kenya every season is burning down the school. Actually, I came to Kenya about 15 years ago now. When I first came to Kenya, I couldn't hear anything about the burning down the school. But now, by the students in the school, at the place of academic, they burn down their own school. Everyone, does this make sense? It doesn't make sense at all. No matter what the cause and the reason may be, this doesn't make sense, burning your own school down. Then, why is this happening at the center of academic? This is showing us that academic is not everything about life. It's not about academic, it is about EQ, emotional quotient. I am not saying that training and academic is not important. It is equally important. Although it is equally important, we are missing out completely about the EQ, emotional quotient, which is about mind education. Everyone, today, listening to the lecture, and if you can change your mindset, just get over to Sao Sao, are you ready for that? Change your mindset, Kitogo. Two, Sao Sao. Change your mindset, Kitogo. Yes, turn to your neighbor and tell them, change your mindset, Kitogo. Yes. Everyone, I'm telling you, 
Let me give you one example. Uh, I come from a country called South Korea. Have you ever heard about South Korea? Whenever I say I come from Korea, people ask me, are you from North or are you from South? And then I tell them, if I'm from North, you're not breathing right now. Yes, North is the country that makes nuclear bomb and threatens the world with nuclear bomb all the time, right? And uh, South Korea is democracy and North Korea is communism. So I come from, yes, don't make me a North Korean, right? One time I received an alien card, like ID card, right, as a foreigner. And then he said, Yohan Kim, nationality, North Korea. I was like, oops. I quickly took it back and then changed to South Korea. Everyone, Korea is a country where it wasn't divided before. It was one country with one tribe of people using one language. But because of the difference of government and the political leaders, Korea Peninsula is divided to North communism, South as a democracy, Republic of Korea. Now, Korea Peninsula is one tribe of people using only one language. Now the population is about 55 million, and the Korea Peninsula was never rich. Korea was always poor. During the World War II, for 45 years, Korea was colonized by Japan. And not only that, after we received independence in 1945, five years after the independence, we had our own civil war called Korean War. So we killed each other, our family members, one tribe, one language. And that Korean War had lasted for three years, from 1950 to 1953. And during that war, three million people have died. And because of that war, as you see from the picture, all Korea was completely destroyed. No matter what happens, you should never start a war. During that war, so many people have died. And because so many people have died, they came about so many orphans, as you see on the picture. And not only that, South Korea did not have any condition for success. South Korea has no underground natural resources. You dig the ground of South Korea, you only find the stones to build a house. But other than the stones, you don't find anything under the ground. When I think about Kenya, you have petroleum, you have minerals, and many underground natural resources. Is that right? I am telling you, Kenya is the most blessed country in the whole world. You go to Korea right now, Korea right now is summer. Temperature goes up to 40 degrees Celsius, hotter than Mombasa. During the winter time, temperature goes down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. You freeze to death. South Korea, the weathers are so extreme, no underground natural resources. South Korea can fit in Kenya. Do you know how many times? More than six times. When I drive from Nairobi to Mombasa and there are so many planes, right? When I look at that land, I'm like, God, can you change my citizenship? I'm telling you, Kenya is a blessing land. Why don't you give our Father God another big round of applause for blessing you? <clears throat> Not only that, South Korea in that small land, 70% of the small land is steep and tall mountains. So you can't do a plantation. You only have 30% of that already small land only 30% of the land in that small land to do the farming, to build homes, to build apartments, and so forth. Not only that, South Korea, three sides are covered by seas. To the west is the sea, to the east is the sea, to the south is the sea, to the north, our enemy, North Koreans. So you can never cross that border. For me, I, I use the word enemy. Why do I become extreme? Because 
I am a soldier right now. I am an army reserve in Korea. So anytime the war happens, I fly right away. You understand what I mean? I'm an army reserve. So I know who my enemy is because as a soldier, if you don't know your enemy, then you're not a soldier. So such things happen like that. So when you look at Korea, Korea didn't have any possibility of success, even Kidogosana. The worst part about Korea is that people believed that we are born to suffer and we are born to be poor. Is there anyone who believed like that? Or who used to believe like that just five seconds ago? No one? Yes. I'm telling you, these people, they believe that because of our ancestor, we inherit this poverty. And what can we do? We live with the poverty. That's what they believed. So they couldn't do anything. So the first thing that the president had to do to change Korea was to change that mindset, the people believing that we are poor by destiny. You understand what I mean, right? That's how the mind education started. The fifth president of South Korea, called President Park, he wanted to change Korea now. You know what? Even if I die, I will make sure that Korea is going to develop and change. And I will make sure that people, when they go to bed at night, they have eaten something in their stomach. You understand what I mean? He was passionate about changing this nation. So he, he began to work with the people, but he realized it. There is no resources to bring the development of the economy of South Korea. But there was only one resources. No resources, Kabisa. But only one resources that he was able to use to change South Korea. Everyone, do you know what that resource was? Do you know what it is? That was human resources. Human resources. We didn't even have petroleum. We didn't have any good fruits. We didn't have anything. But the only resources that Korea had to change the nation was the human resources. So in order for him to change Korea, he developed this curriculum called mindset education or mind education. Now, the first thing that he did was to change the way people think. First thing that he has done was to change the way people see their lives. The first thing that he had to change to the people, the way they believe in their heart. When that thing began to change, the whole country began to change. This is the picture of Seoul, capital city in 1970s. The walls are just made with plywood and Mabati roof. Picture was taken in 1970s. And this is place called Cheonggyecheon, small little creek in Korea capital city, Seoul. And when you look at those houses, it is all built with Mabati, rusted and everything. But do you know what? Only in 50 years, within one single generation, in 50 years, this place called Cheonggyecheon changes like this. But by the way, do you want to see how this place have changed? <laughs> no, you're too quiet and then you don't even clap for me. And now... <laughs> so I don't know whether you are sleeping or you are listening. Okay. So now, this same place in how many years? How many years? Back there, how many years? You know, usually those students who receive bad grades, they sit in the back. Cindy. <laughs> Students in the back, how many years? You see their voice is smaller. Students in the front, how many years? You see you are louder. <laughs> in 50 years, Cheonggye Chan like this changes like this. This is another, another part. Now this water, you can't even drink it. And fishes live in that. So if you want like sushi, you can just grab a fish from there and, <coughs> yes. 1970s in Namsan, Seoul capital city, changed this same place. Now, 50 years later, changes like this. 
Don't say wow yet, because if you say wow every time, your mouth will hurt. Yes. <laughs> this is Gwanghwamun. This is a state house road, state house road in Seoul, capital city, Korea. Picture taken in 1969. The same place changes like this. Yes. This is 1970s uh, Shinsadong within Seoul, capital city. These uh, planes uh, turns into a affordable homes apartments like this. Can you see this picture from back there? Or are you just clapping because people are clapping? <laughs> yes. Now, <clears throat> this is the tallest apartment in South Korea, half kilometer upward, 555 meters tall, 123 stories of building. This is the most expensive apartment in Seoul capital city right now. And then the top uppermost of two floor is for tourists. If you go up there, you can see whole capital city of Seoul, Korea. Would you like to go together? Yes. Pray about it. <laughs> yes. And then now within a single generation in 50 years, just 50 years, GDP per capita from $76 changed to $35,000 US dollar in year 2021. In another words, one average Korean in Korea earned 4 million Kenya shillings. Can I ask how much you are making a year? <coughs> uh, no, okay, 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 okay. And then uh, <coughs> one of the OECD country and South Korea is host of G20, powerful IT nation, and the trading worth six, uh, one trillion US dollar. In terms of trading, South Korea is a ranking number six in the whole world. We got nothing to trade because nothing grows in Korea. You, you dig the ground, you only find? You're not going to trade stones, right? But in trading, South Korea, one trillion worth and now number six in the whole world defeated UK, Germany, France, and so forth. Now, let's compare this uh, GDP per capita economic graph together with Kenya. Kenya in 1963, when South Korea GDP per capita was $79, Kenya was $94. Kenya economy was ahead of South Korea. But under the same skies, the same moon, same sun, are we using the same sun? Yes, <laughs> so under the same sun, Kenya had 17 times increase in GDP per capita, in other words, economy. GDP per capita in the year 2021, Kenya is year uh, $1,838, about, about uh, 210 or 220,000 Kenya shillings, right? Korea had same period of time, 350 times increase. Here, I am not trying to talk about how Korea had developed. You understand, right? Here, what I am trying to talk about, my point is, under the same skies and the same sun and the same moon, if Korea was able to develop 350 times in economy with, and yet, with no underground natural resources, with all this big land, with all human resources here seated today, with all the underground natural resources and minerals, I know one thing for sure. If we only just change the way we think, then you can change Kenya in 10 years. You don't believe it. 10 years. I, I have an exact graph and examples that I can show you to prove that. To prove that, but now I gotta go. I am invited to, to an embassy, so I gotta go. But you joined mind education class. If you only change the way you think, the way you see, the way you believe. It's not about computer class. Computer class, I give it to, to it's not good. Mind Education Academy is the best. <laughs> if you believe that, say my amen. amen. Yes. If you don't want to believe that, say my no man. 
I'm telling you, if you only change your mindset by the human resources who are seated here today, by you, this nation will change and even go ahead of South Korea. That's what I want to see. Because next month, I am applying for Kenya citizenship, having lived in Kenya for 15 years. <laughs> the difference that Korea was able to make with no underground natural resources, it was by the change of the mindset. When the mindset changed, you become number one in everything that you do, such as this. When you go to Korea because of extreme weather, South Korea do not even have one single coffee tree because of extreme cold and hot weather. But now, South Korea is ranking number three in the whole world exporting the coffee. South Korea with no coffee tree, South Korea exports more coffee than Kenya exporting coffee. And you are asking me right now, how we import all the best coffee beans and raw material from Kenya, from Ethiopia, Paraguay, Brazil, so forth, and then we do the research on the taste of the mouth of the people. For example, Kenyans, they like something more sweet, is that right? So you put how many sugars in your tea? Five! Oh, oh my God, has yes, calm down. Yes. <laughs> Koreans, they like something very bitter. The taste of the mouth of people in the continents, they are different, is that right? They research the taste of the mouth of the people, and then they blend the coffee beans from different countries together, to make the best coffee taste according to the continents, and then we put it back into the golden papers, and then we export it back to Kenya, Ethiopia, <laughs> and so forth. <laughs> South Korea, with no single coffee tree because of the weather, ranking number three in the whole world for exporting coffee products. Kenya can do better. Kenya can do Kenya can do? Yeah. Don't say better, say better. <laughs> Kenya can do? Yeah. Hallelujah. South Korea, we have no single drop of petroleum. And yet, South Korea is number one in exporting petroleum products. We import most of the crude oil from Saudi Arabia. From the crude oil, we get petroleum, we get diesel, we get chemicals, we get asphalt, we get tire, raw material, we get even textile material, and then we export it back to other countries, and South Korea is ranking number one in that. If you only change your mindset, you become number one in everything that you do, and by our Weekend Academy students whose mindset has changed, Kitago! this nation is going to change. South Korea, we have no underground natural resources for steel. No, not at all. And yet South Korea has POSCO, which is world's sixth largest steel product exporting company in the whole world. South Korea, we don't have any steel in our ground, but we have a number one largest shipbuilding yard. 70% 70, 70 of the container ships that you see in Mombasa, they're all made in South Korea. South Korea has a world fifth largest automobile producing company called Hyundai. I visited their factory three times. The one who is guiding us, she said, every 14 seconds, a brand new car comes out from the factory. So while you are sitting here right now, how many vehicles have come out? I don't know, you may calculate. And also Samsung company. When I came to Kenya in the year 2009 in Nakumar, I couldn't find anything called Samsung. You only find Sony, Iowa, Panasonic, Philips, Japanese product. But now, number one is what? And if you are saying Samsung, you are already speaking Korean. You are very good at Korean. Sam means number three. Song means the stars. So, so Samsung means? Yes. You just spoke Korean, Samsung. Yes. How big is Samsung in Japan? And there are a total of eight electronic companies. 
you add all their profit together, Samsung company is still way bigger than that. I don't know how many times that is. And the Samsung company is also way bigger than Toyota. If you change your mindset, Kitoko, you become number one in everything that you do. And even in football, Asians are not good in football. Do you know why? Asians, they're not good in football because they have longer upper body and then they have shorter leg and then Kenyans. So same height Kenyan, we kick the ball, my, my, my leg will not touch the ball, but Kenya friends' uh, leg will touch the ball because of my short leg. But don't look at me so detailed like that. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hide behind the podium. So you know Son, he's also Korean. He has a short leg. But even those physical challenges you overcome and you become still number one. Everyone, do you know Son? If you don't know Son, then it means you don't like football. Everyone, do you know BTS? Yeah. Number one in music. Is that right? If you know it, if you know BTS, shout number one. Why are they number one? Koreans, they're not good at singing. I'm telling you, they're not good at singing too. They're not good at singing, but difference of the mindset. Is that right? Yes. If you watch the Squid Game, Sema Squid Game. If you know Squid Game and if you watch it, Sema Squid Game. Movie Korean dramas right now, we, we almost now defeated Hollywood. Is that right? If you know it, say yes. I'm telling you, if you just change your mindset, Whatever you do, you become number one. You do movie, you become number one. You do drama, you become number one. What else? You do sports, number one. You study, you become number one. Don't become number one with drugs, alcohol, but you become number one in everything that you do. Is that right? Just through the change of the mindset. South Korea, when we were having the Korean War, South Korea, when we were having Korean War, we didn't even have one single tank. But now, 60 years later, South Korea military is ranking number six in the whole world. And now, we didn't have one single tank when we were having the civil war. But now, 60, 70 years down the line, South Korea became a country that exports weapon. Last one year alone, South Korea exported 28 billion US dollar worth of weapons. So if I say billions, you get confused. Sindio? Yes, 28 billion US dollar. Last one year government fiscal year budget. Do you know how much it was? Kenya government budget. One year Kenya government year budget. Do you know how much it was? 25 billion US dollar. So just exporting the weapon alone, South Korea was able to export and sell and earn money more than one year Kenya government budget. You understand what I Just selling weapon alone, forget Samsung, forget LG, forget Hyundai, forget Postco Steel, forget construction companies, forget all that, only weapon alone sold more than one year Kenya government budget. And you go to Korea until today, South Korea has no resources, no nothing to sell, nothing to trade, nothing to do anything. What was able to make Korea like that in just 50 years in one single generation? Change of the mindset. This IYF Weekend Academy is not only a place where, give, where we want to give you academic and trainings. Three months later, I know one thing. All of your mindset will no longer be the same. You don't like it? <laughs> South Korea says, to break out from poverty, although the government cannot pay us because they don't have money, we can work voluntarily to make it possible. Koreans, they began to come out to the road and began to do the volunteer work. I want to organize with city county government to do the tree planting and street cleaning together with all of you, 
100% voluntarily. Everyone raise your hand if you want to participate in that. Don't clap, raise your hand. Can you wave at me? Yes, and find any neighbor who is not raising their hands and tell them, change your mind, say, Kidogo! Yes. For a better life, we can? It is? What makes our life miserable is not the situation or your family background, but your mindset to believing that I can't do it. It is impossible. I hope through the Weekend Academy, all of you can change your mindset. Kitago! Asante ni sana.